Have you ever set off wanting to achieve a goal only to get so far along the journey, become distracted, your vision becomes cloudy, and before you know it, you just quit. You've given in, you've thrown in the towel. Well, in this video, I wanna help you with your mindset and motivation towards creating unshakable vision and unstoppable momentum. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the first video in my Mindset and Motivation series. Now, I'm incredibly excited to get this kicked off, but what qualifies me in this arena I am a body transformation coach who has transformed the bodies and lives of thousands of guys and girls just like you. I believe one of the biggest factors in any successful transformation is your headspace, is your mindset going into that transformation. I believe anybody who has ever accomplished anything in life has got their headspace in such a positive and productive space. Now, we cannot simply rely on motivation, which I'm going to allude to in today's video, but what we do have to have is an unshakable vision and then have unstoppable momentum towards achieving it. Not just doing it when we simply feel like doing it, not just doing it when we are motivated, but doing it regardless, setting your standard. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss exactly that. Now, I think the first thing to note is that Nobody achieves a goal by mistake. And nobody just wakes up one morning and has accomplished all of their dreams, goals, and aspirations. That doesn't happen. You have to actively be moving toward it. And every single action, everything we do on every single day is either moving us towards our goal or it's moving us away from our goal. We are consciously or subconsciously making big decisions or micro decisions as to whether or not we're on the right path. And you have to be conscious of those decisions. You cannot just simply go through the motions, let life control you. You have to control the day. You are in control of your own actions. So to some degree, I think there's some level of power in knowing that, that it really is down to you and you alone. Hope isn't a strategy. We cannot simply hope to get there. We do have to have a strategy that we know if we continually do the right thing, it's gonna get us there. Where does that begin? I think that's the first thing. Where does it begin? It begins with a crystal clear vision. You know, it's absolutely essential that we have this because if we don't know very precisely, you know, if we close our eyes and imagine exactly where we want to be, if that's cloudy, if we don't know what that is and that doesn't fill us with excitement, the chances are we're not gonna obtain very much at all. It has to mean more to you than just, you know, this is where I hear people say all the time, I wanna lose a bit of weight, I wanna get a little bit fitter, I wanna be a little bit healthier. It's kind of like, okay, you know, that sounds great on paper, but why? Like, what is it about that goal that excites you, what intrigues you? What is gonna drag your ass out of bed when you really don't feel like doing this? What is gonna force you and drive you to do the necessary because at the end of the day you have to be able to validate the journey you have to be able to validate the efforts that the payoff is going to be worth it you, you really are just kind of going to drift around and you're never really going to get anywhere so having a clear vision is beyond important that's the starting point think about that first think about very specifically where you want to go what you want to accomplish and then also dig into the reasons why. Why does that matter to you? If you have a top 10 priority list of things you want to do and where you want to go in your life, and this specific goal that you, you, know, you think you want to work towards doesn't even register on that top 10 priority list, the chances are you're probably not going to make it happen. So make sure you're super clear on your vision. And then again, this kind of alludes to what we discussed there, figuring out your why. You know, why? Why do you want to change? Why do you want to accomplish the goals that you are trying to accomplish? And I transform people's bodies. That's what I do. So a lot of what I'm going to be discussing is talking about you achieving a physical transformation, a physical goal, be that muscle building, be that getting absolutely shredded out in your damn mind. But this can mean in many other aspects of your life, be that with your business, be that with your friendships, your relationships, you know, what and why? Why do you want this thing that you are looking for? If you don't have, for me, a deep and emotional understanding of your why. You don't really know why it is that you want to accomplish something. If you don't have an emotional understanding of it, it's gonna become blase, it's gonna become very wishy-washy, and you're probably not gonna do the necessary. Because I always believe, and this is with every transformation of any guy or girl that I've ever worked with, and it sounds really harsh, but the closer you are to pain, the more likelihood you have of changing because you, you don't want to tolerate your situation anymore. You don't want to stay where you are right now. You want more. Or maybe you aren't 
all that you know unhappy with where you're at. You don't hate how you look or how you feel. You know, you're not at the point where every single day you get up and you look at yourself in the mirror and you're massively depressed about where you're at and you just you can't bear it any longer. Maybe you're not at that point. Maybe some people are, and those people are very likely to change. But maybe you're just at a point where you just know you're capable of more. You know that there is so much untapped potential that you have that is just sitting there waiting for you, staring at you, the, the kind of the person that you could and should become. Because I, I think that, you know, the regret of not going all in, for me, is far worse. And if that's where you're at right now, you just know that there is so much more to be had. That you just simply don't want to leave that untapped potential on the table. So just being aware of those things, be that those deep emotional understandings or that thirst and that absolute desire to progress. I feel for most people, I'm not saying for everybody, but most people are probably at their happiest in the pursuit of, them best, of their best selves. I really believe that. Set your new standard. This is a big thing in unshakable vision and unstoppable momentum. You need to set your new standard. You are where you are right now in life because of what you have tolerated up until this point. Whatever happened in your life, and some things are tragic. Some people have some crazy tragic things happening in their lives that are way beyond their control. But you are where you are because of what you have tolerated up until now. And that is typically due to your standards. The standards that you have set for yourself. And if right now those standards are low, you let yourself off the hook too, too much. Throw in the towel too easily. When things get tough, you just quit. You throw in the towel, you give in. By definition, in order to change something or some things in our lives are gonna have to change. No more so than your standards. If from now you say you are going to do something, come rain or shine, you're gonna do it. Because ultimately, every time we don't do the thing that we said we were gonna do, you're almost training and teaching your subconscious that that's okay. It's okay not to do exactly what I said it was gonna do. And then the next time you are presented with that situation, things got a little bit difficult, things got a little bit uncomfortable, you start to step outside your comfort zone, that you immediately fell back to that standard, which is it's okay to give in. So set that standard. Our word is bond. Your word now means more to you than anything else in this world. Because if, if, if you don't trust you, how would you ever expect anybody else to trust you? I think that's such a big thing. You know, if you say you are going to do something, then you absolutely do it. Stay true to yourself, stay true to your word. That is a standard that I want you to set for yourself. I promise you that will elevate your life tenfold. If you're gonna take anything from this video, is that. And this is a massive one for me. Be clear on your non-negotiables. What are the key things that you need to do in your life? What's the, what's, the, what's the main things, the minimum effective dose, the things that we can do regardless of how motivated we feel? Because we know for sure, we're not always gonna be able to derive that energy and enthusiasm from motivation, because motivation is gonna come and go. Your life is difficult, everybody's life is difficult. There's all sorts going off. Somebody's ill, something's happening, we don't know, you know where we stand, we're going through some level of trauma, work, job, kids, responsibilities, that is life. It's not always going to be plain sailing. So there are many times I can guarantee you we're not going to be motivated. So we just need to have a list of non-negotiables that we can say to ourselves, regardless of how I feel, these are my non-negotiables. These are things that I'm just going to do. Hitting your workouts three, four times a week. Non-negotiable, without a question. Tracking my food. Even if I'm really pissed off, I've had a really bad day, I'm going to track my food in the manner that I said I was going to track my food. I'm not gonna go by emotion, I'm stronger than that. And you can be too. You're stronger than just, you know, going by raw emotion and thinking effort and pushing that effort button, getting in your step count. Whatever it is, those non-negotiables, make that list that you know for sure. Don't make it crazy. Don't set a ridiculous list that you're gonna do a 10K every day, you're gonna hit two workouts, one in the AM, one in the PM. Like, set a realistic set of tasks, things that you can accomplish, your minimum effective dose, not the maximum, we could all look at the maximum. Jeez, we could all be doing crazy amounts of things to you know, best help us achieve our goals, but the best plan, the best commitment is the thing that you can do right 100% of the time, as opposed to the perfect plan that you can only do right 50% of the time. Make it become sacred, like brushing your teeth. I hope watching this video right now, you aren't somebody that doesn't brush their teeth. If you are, check yourself. But also, whatever it is on that list, it becomes sac sacred like brushing your damn teeth. And that's it for this video. I hope that you got some real positive mindset, some positive mental attitude from this video. Make sure your headspace is in the right place before ever trying to obtain a goal. That said, don't wait for the perfect opportunity. Stop trying to find the best method. Stop trying to find the best way. You're not gonna find it. 
Just do. Momentum builds motivation. Simply put one foot forward, then the next, then the next, as opposed to trying to plot out the best way, waiting until you've written down everything and got everything right. Start moving and then start to try and implement some of the things that I've discussed in this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh,